Okay, so let's have this problem. So a rectangle has an area of 96 meters squared and a perimeter of 40 meters. Then what is the dimension of the rectangle? So from this problem, so we have the area and formula for the area of a rectangle. That's length times width. Then substitute now this value for the area. So this becomes 96 then equals the length times the width. And this is now the equation number 1. Then to find the equation number 2 from the given perimeter and formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. That's 2 length plus 2w. Then substitute now this value for the perimeter. So this becomes 40 then equals 2 length plus 2 width. But since we can reduce because these numbers are divisible by 2, so we need to reduce and this 40 divide by 2 this one is 20 then equals 2 divide by 2 cancel so we have the length then plus this 2 and 2 cancel plus the width and this is now the equation number 2 then from these two equations so we need to combine so we have 96 then equals the length times the width and the equation number 2 that's 20 then equals length plus the width. So by combining these two equations using the substitution method to solve for the unknown, so using the equation number 2 transpose this L to the other side, so this becomes 20, and this positive L becomes negative L, then equals W, then this time using the substitution method, so we have this W and W, so we just need to substitute this value to this W, so this equation becomes 96 then equals the length times W and W is 20 minus L. Then to simplify, so we have 96 then equals, so multiply. This becomes 20L and multiply, that's negative L squared. Then to equate this equation to 0, so transpose this L squared to the other side. So this negative L squared becomes positive L squared and transpose this positive 20, so this becomes negative 20, then L, and bring down this positive 96, then equals 0. So we have now this quadratic equation, and we can solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic factoring or the quadratic formula. So if we're going to solve, this equation using the quadratic formula that's negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a so this is now the quadratic formula but first we need to find the values for a b and c so from this equation to find the value for a so that's the number on l squared 
So this is 1 and B. B is negative 20. Then C. C is positive 96. So to solve now using this quadratic formula, then to solve now for L, so we have L then equals, so from the quadratic formula, negative B, so negative then B and B is negative 20, then plus minus the square root of B squared and B is negative 20 then squared then minus 4 times A. A is 1 times C. C is 96 then all over 2 times A. So A is 1. Then to simplify, so we have L equals negative and negative. This becomes positive. Then plus minus the square root of this negative 20 to the power 2. So we have, we need to put this inside the parentheses. So negative 20 then to the power 2 equals that's 400 so this is equal to 400 then minus this 4 times 1 times 96 so we have 4 times 1 times 96 equals that's 384 so this is 384 then over this 2 times 1, that's 2. Then we have L equals, so this is 20, then plus minus the square root of 400 minus 384. So we have 400 minus 384 equals that 16. So this is 16, then over 2. Then L equals 20 plus minus the square root of 16. So take note that for the square root of 16, so square root of 16 equals that's 4. So this is 4 then over 2. Then this time we need to separate this plus and minus. So we have L equals 20 plus 4 over 2. Then the other one, L equals 20 minus 4 over 2. Then L equals 20 plus 4. This one is 24 over 2. So we have L equals 24 divided by 2. This one is 12. Then the other one, so we have L equals 20 minus 4, this one is 16, then over 2. Therefore, L equals 16 divided by 2, that's 8. So from these values for L, 12 and 18, then we can conclude, or therefore, the dimension of the rectangle is 12 meters by 8 meters. So this is now the dimension of this rectangle.